All Saints Day. All Saints Day on November 1st is holy in the Western Christian tradition, celebrated by Roman Catholic Church, the Methodist Church, the Lutheran Church, and more. It's designed to show honor and reverence to saints, both canonized and unknown, and in some faiths also give thanks to those who have guided others to Christ, like a friend or relative. Around the world, there are many traditions woven in All Saints Day, from the laying of flowers on graves on November 1st to the Mexican Day of the Dead, which honors children who have passed on on the holiday's first day, not to mention Halloween in the United States and Canada, a celebration that originally was a large part linked to the All Saints Day. On May 13th, in the year 609 AD or 610 AD, Pope Boniface IV consecrated the day and ordered an anniversary to celebrate the Virgin Mary and all the martyrs. He may have chosen May 13th because many churches in the East already had a similar day to honor the dead and the martyrs. It was Pope Gregory III who moved the date of All Saints Day to November 1st on the old style calendar when he founded an oratory in St. Peter's at the Vatican to exalt the apostles, saints, martyrs, and all the just made perfect who were at rest throughout the world. In the years and decades that followed, various influential figures in the church and government used their power to make All Saints Day an official observance in different Christian sects and denominations. Today, the holiday is also known, depending on the location and branch of the church, as All Hallows Day, Hallow Mass, the Feast of All Saints, and the Solemnity of All Saints. So you can be reasonably sure that any Christian friend of yours will be holding ancient miracle workers in their heart today. Reach out and ask what All Saints Day means to them if you are not Christian yourself.